everybody. Welcome to Rise and Shine. You know, we've seen so much this past year. We've seen politics going crazy. We've seen uh, violence in America like we've never seen before. We've seen a virus that's <clears throat> keeping families apart. We've seen so much. But I want you to know God has the last word. And I want to show you the conversation in Isaiah 14, 12 about Satan and God. This is a conversation between the two. Now, Satan is telling God and everybody in the heavenlies what he's going to do. And this is what he says. I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars. I will sit on the mount of congregation. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. And I will be the most high God. This is what Satan has declared in all the heavenlies. But you would think that would be powerful enough. But God told Satan something. And this is what really happened. So this is what God told Satan. He says, you will be thrown into hell. He says, you will be a spectacle and be glazed upon and mocked. You will be scorned and you will go to your grave. You will be cast out and you will be alone. God has the last word over the universe. God has the last word over America. He has the last word over your life. Don't let Satan come in and push that right out the way. God already made him a defeated foe. And Jesus came and, and after hanging on the cross the way Jesus died for our sins, he also took the keys from hell. So we have all authority. God has the last word in your life. Satan is a defeated foe, defeated enemy. Keep him where he is, defeated. Don't let him come into your life and think the thoughts and the things that we think that are just horrible and make us negative and depressed and fall into such disappointment. God has the last word over your life, over Europe, over the earth, over the universe. And you can trust that. So trust God in all of this. Just keep trusting in Jesus' name. Let me pray for you. Because sometimes we start feeling so bad, so disappointed, we go into depression. Or sometimes our body hurts and we can just sit in depression for a long time and disappointment. So let me pray. Lord God, I ask that all of us mentally who have been to such disappointment to raise up our level, Lord God, of trust. Raise up our level of faith, Lord God. Raise us up to where we can see and rise above all that's happening on, on in America, all that's happening across the world, that we trust in you, Lord God. And as we trust in you and walk in you in this journey with God, holding our hands, that we will be healed. And I'm praying that all cancer and virus has to leave now in the name of Jesus. Tumors have to fall off in the name of Jesus and dry up. The virus has to dry up in your in your chest and in your lungs and in your and in your throat in Jesus' name. It has lost all its power for sickness and death. And we thank you, Lord God, that we walk in divine healing this year because this is the year of the supernatural. So we thank you, Lord God, that we see you, we trust you, we lean and rely on only you. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Go out and make it a great rise and shine. And remember, Jesus has the last word.